Hey, welcome. Today we're going to read from Exodus chapter 1, verses 12 to 14, and then just say a thing about it. But the more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied, and the more they spread out, so that they were in dread of the sons of Israel. The Egyptians compelled the sons of Israel to labor rigorously, and they made their lives bitter with hard labor in mortar and bricks and all kinds of labor in the field, all their labors which they rigorously imposed on them. Now, maybe you noticed here in this uh, description uh, the idea of rigor, <laughs> or hard to miss it there. Over and over again, Moses writes, you know, how it's oppression, it is, it is rigor, it is hard, and it is bitter, and, and the people are under this increasing, and remember, it, the, the heart of the Egyptians uh, squished down on them, the harder they crushed them, the more God brought prosperity in, the more, the more babies they had, and, and the people survived and just got stronger and stronger in spite of this attempt. Remember, the, the initial plan was what? We're going to reduce the population of Hebrews. They're, 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 they make us nervous. There's too many of those people. And so the, the intent was murderous from the first uh, end, and yet it is having the opposite effect. These people are becoming more numerous. They're more unhappy, obviously, because of the way they're being treated. And everybody's becoming uh, very nervous about this because, yeah, we're, we're trying to crush these people, and instead they're getting stronger. So we gotta, we gotta, we got to push down even harder. So you can see that the tension is absolutely rising. So this was an intentional plan to put pressure on and to oppress a certain people. This was in humanity the abuse of one group by another. And in fact, this was an atheistic mindset because it refused to recognize the innate value of every person. Remember, every person is made in the image of God. Every human being is in the image of God and therefore has an innate value to them. Everybody's made, designed for holiness. Everyone's designed to reflect or refract, you know, to repeat into the world, to echo into the world God's goodness and uh, his, you know, right and wrong. He chooses the right. Good versus evil. God is for good. Uh, beauty versus, you know, God is makes a beautiful world. And so uh, every one of us is designed to reflect those aspects of God into the world, to make it God's world. And as soon as you say, uh, God says, I'm, I'm for these people, and you say, I'm going to erase these people, I'm going to remove these people from history. When you go that way, you are placing yourself into a defiant opposition kind of position toward God. And so that's, that's what's going on here in Egypt. As soon as you've decided you're going to erase this people, you're going to use them up until they die, you've decided you're going to erase that divine image in them. So it's, this is innately an atheistic standpoint to take. Whenever you want to reduce the population, uh, you want to reduce the image of God, and you want to use people for your purposes, that is an innately atheistic approach uh, compared to the God of heaven. So today, you know, there's people that are really worried about uh, too much population on the planet. And well, we need to look back at this thing because it's, it gives us some interesting insights. When you choose to depopulate, you're actually choosing, uh, you're choosing to place yourself in defiance of God's will. You're, you're choosing to go in opposition to God who designed them and placed them in this world, and you're choosing now to remove them from this world. You're taking God's place and you're replacing it with yourself. You're going up above the stars of God. You're seeking to have a your way. You're basically choosing to have yourself be worshipped. That's atheism, and that's the position of Pharaoh. Pharaoh's ultimate position is, I'm God, take it or leave it. I also want you to notice one other last thing here. They're not just making mortar. They're not just being forced to make bricks. They are laboring also in the fields. In fact, this is a multi-prong uh, approach to reducing the Hebrew population. We're going to be hard here, 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 and here. We're going to be hard on these people all around, and so their population will go down. And we're going to just crush them no matter what it takes. That's what God's people are up against. And if there was not a divine intervention, come on back and join me tomorrow morning. And we're going to see the first opposition to this genocidal plan.